Hello, and welcome to the Sew Along for New Look 6273, View A. So let's talk about all of the pattern pieces you're going to need for this Sew Along. You're going to need pattern piece number one, which is the front, and you cut four pieces. You're going to need pattern piece number two, which is your side front, and you cut two pieces. Pattern piece number three, which is your back, and you cut one on the fold. Pattern piece number four, which is your back facing, and you cut one on the fold. And pattern piece number five, which is your sleeve, and you cut two. We're going to start out with pattern piece number one, your front piece, where you cut four pieces. So I'm going to do two and two. So when you cut your pieces, you should have cut them with right sides facing. So I'm just going to take two and two. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pin starting at the top, going to pin all the way around and down and across the bottom. Right. So I have two pieces here and two pieces here. I'm going to do the same thing to the other two pieces and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew around. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and at the end and remove your pins as you go. to this corner I'm just making sure that my needle is down I'm going to lift my presser foot and then I'm just going to twist the piece around so I can sew the rest of it I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom my needles down lift my presser foot turn my fabric and keep sewing Cut any loose threads and do the same thing to the other front pieces. All right, once you get it sewn together, it's gonna to look like this. What you're going to do is you're gonna turn it with the wrong sides facing so that your right side will be showing. So I'm just gonna flip it, basically flipping it inside out. And that's what it should look like. Now your wrong sides are facing. And what you want to do, you want to take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. I've already done that. The next thing you want to do is you're going to stay stitch from the top all the way down to the bottom. And stay stitching is just changing your machine stitch length to the longest length on your sewing machine, minus five and you're just basting it in place so that it won't move. All right, so I have both of my front pieces. I did my stay stitching down the side that was left open. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take pattern piece number two, which is the side front, and attach it to my front pieces. Now, <laughs> don't be like me and make the mistake that I made. When I pinned, the first time I made this, when I pinned the two side fronts, I had both front pieces going the same way, like this. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm 
make sure that your front pieces are like this. All right, so here are my front pieces with right sides facing. This is how you want to make sure you pin your side fronts. You want to make sure that both your um, piece number one, they're facing towards each other, not the same way. And then you're going to place your piece number two, your side front. And you're going to pin starting at the notches and then all the way down. Let me set this aside. So I'm going to find my notches on here. There's one, right? So there's your two notches. Pin there first. And then pin the rest together. All right, you're going to pin the other side the same way, then we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew down. All right, so let's sew our side front to our front piece. Back stitch at the beginning and the end and remove your pins as you go. Cut your loose threads. Now you can take it over to the ironing board and press open your seams. If you have a serger, you can serge your seams. All right, so we have our two front pieces sewn together. This is what it looks like. So now I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to work with my back and my back facing. So before I attach the back facing to the back pattern piece, I'm going to stay stitch around the collar. Okay, so now I have my stay stitching done around the back neck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my back facing piece and I'm going to place it with right sides facing and I'm going to pin it to the edge that I just stay stitched. And you should have some notches on here. So of course, pin at your notches. All right, so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew. You should have some dots on here. I'm going to sew dot to dot. Now, don't forget to change back to your regular stitch after you stay stitch in the previous step. You want to make sure you go back to whatever your normal length stitch is before you add the back facing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this to the ironing board and I'm going to press my seams down. 
And then after I press, I'm going to come back to the sewing machine and understitch. I'm going to make sure my seams are facing down. And I'm just going to um, understitch. I'm only stitching on the seam allowance. So we have our um, back facing attached to our back piece. And now you're going to attach your front piece at the shoulder seams. But there's a little trick to this. So I've already done one side. First thing you're going to do with, right side, with the right side of your jacket facing up, you're going to flip up the back facing. So you're going to take it and flip it up. You're going to take your front piece at the collar. First, find your notch and pin at the notch. Now, I like to go ahead and put a pin right here on the other end of the shoulder seam just to hold it in place for a second. So what you're going to do, you're going to take that back facing and you're going to fold it down on top of the shoulder seam. So right now it's facing up and you have it pinned at the shoulder seam, but what you're going to do Take, your, take this back facing and flip it down. And then you're going to pin it because you're going to sew all the way across. So this is what it looks like. You're going to sew from here to here and from here to here. So once your shoulder seams are sewn together, this is what your jacket should look like. It's laid out kind of funky, but this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to attach my sleeves. I'm doing the sleeves a little differently. I'm actually going to use the flat method for inserting my sleeves. All right, so I'm going to take my jacket and the wrong side is facing up right now. So, and I'm just going to flip it up so I see the right side, just this part right here. So I'm going to take my sleeve And I'm going to attach my sleeves right sides facing. So starting at my two notches here, I'm going to pin. Then I'm going to pin my one notch on the other side. You should also have some dots on your sleeves that will tell you where to pin the center. All right, I have my sleeve pinned all the way around. I'm going to pin the other sleeve the same way and then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it up. All right, let's sew around our sleeve. Back stitch at the beginning and at the end and remove your pins as you go.
All right, we are almost done. So I've attached my sleeves. Now I just need to sew together my side seams. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my jacket, the right sides facing. I'm going to start pinning right under the arm. Then, then I'm going to find the notches on my sleeve. Pin the rest of the sleeve. And now the side seams, find the notch on your side seam. Going to pin the other side the same way and you'll sew from your sleeve all the way down your side all right starting at the end of your sleeve don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and at the end and remove your pins as you go any loose threads now the only thing you have left to do is to hem your sleeve and hem the bottom of your jacket and you'll be all done